Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect pump and sensors for Lorenz pump smart controller. Lorenz smart and this one is a controller and that one is a smart start. So uh, let us start from this one. This one we call it smart base UK2. So uh, as you see it here, we have AC in here. We have AC in, solar in, DC out, and we have ground. So what we do is uh, we connect the solar in, that means the positive and negative from the solar in. From the solar, we give to this smart PSUK2. So we have positive and negative here. And then if we have a generator or AC supply, we can connect to these three inputs so that we can use alternatively the solar and the AC input and from the ground from the solar side we just bring the ground terminal and we connect it here and then the output from the DC out the positive and the negative and also the ground will go to the uh, PSUK controller PSUK 40 controller so as you see it here, we just bring from the PS Smart PSUK2 from the positive and the negative will enter into the DC power in and also the ground also enter into the ground terminal. Then we have different sensors. So this one is a world prop sensor, which is immersed with the pump. So we connect on one and two. And then with this wall probe sensor, we can connect this surge protector, this surge protector with a wall probe sensor. And here we have remote switch. Because of we don't have a remote switch, we just short with a jumper wire like this one, this three and four terminal. And also we don't have this water detection sensor. So because of that, we also short with this jumper wire. And then we have a sun sensor module connected in seven and eight here. Uh, so this sun sensor uh, PV module must be uh, aligned with the one that we do outside the PV panels. So it should be aligned with the same tilt angle with that of the solar panel mounted outside for this pump system. So we have a sensor. That means a sun sensor. And in this analog one and in analog two, we can connect a pressure sensor. And also uh, inside we have another sensor, which liquid sensor. So we can connect pressure sensor and liquid sensor here. This one and this one is for that one. This here we have, this one is for liquid sensor. And this one is for pressure sensor. And then we connect the watt meter sensor on 13 and 14. Then the rest, we, we just keep them. Uh, we just let them as open. And to the pump, we have three wires, as you see it here. So this PSUK40 will change the DC to AC, and then it gives to the pump. So this cable will go to the pump, and also the ground cable will go for the pump. So this is how you connect the PSUK40 controller Lorenz for a given submersible pump. And here we have also a generator, smart uh, start. So we have system on, generator on, and ancillary output. So here we have a cable connected to this pump controller. So in case, for example, if you set your system in a watt meter, to fill a given uh, tanker and when it fills a given tanker and if the sun is not available at the time so this system this smart start system will automatically run the generator to fill that uh, left water to the reservoir so this will do the smart start for a given generator in case of shortage of water 
at the night time or if there is no sun at that time so the generator will act on it on the system and the generator will run and fill the gap between this system so this is a smart start and this is a PSK 40 so as you see we just use this one for a given 30 uh, 30 kilowatt pump and this is as I told you this is a controller and this one is a smart PSCK2 so this is how it looks like so for the next I will show you the rest of the components in this uh, the systems these are the systems okay thank you I will show you the rest